This is the way. Hello once again, everyone. Welcome back for the second game for today. This is once again an XTC related game. This is Group E, round 6, game 3 between France and the Netherlands. And this time it is the Rebel Alliance fighting the Empire. A thematic matchup, which is always nice to see. Um, Alright. Uh, so before I go into the lists, you can bet for your preferred player, country, color, matchup, painting, ship, whatever. Obstacle, I don't know. Uh, all you've got to do is use the um, prediction window that is on the upper hand corner of your Twitch chat. Blue is on the left, pink is on the right, of course, as you can see with the little colors. Anyway, for second match of the day, we have on the left. Pierre for France playing the rebels with Genors. Genors can uh, can stress herself to allow a friendly ship to roll an additional die uh, while attacking. Um, if only uh, the ship is in her attack arc, which is the reason why you also take the Moldicroak title that allows you to gain a front arc attack with a value of 3, and then you can keep up 2 focuses uh, in the end phase. She's also equipped with engine upgrade that allows you, her to uh, perform white boosts. It has been relevant in the past. We shall see if it is in this particular game. Alright. Wedge and Tilis, uh getting away 1 defense die for uh, an opponent. Crack shot that allows him to cancel a defense die result uh, only once per game, obviously, and the wings. Then you've got Cassian Endor, uh, the guy that uh, clears the stress and will probably do uh, this quite often for Jan. Uh, but only if it is at range 1 to 3, so it uh, doesn't work at range 0. He's also equipped with crack shot. Leia, uh, his, his crew, uh, 3 charges, can perform um, <coughs> red maneuver as white maneuvers when the 3 charges are down. He's also equipped with the wings, so basically one side of the wing is pretty much pointless. The other one is you lose an agility, but after doing a zero, you can uh, rotate 90 or 180 degrees. And then the MVP, the Bandit Squadron Pilot, the little Z95 v um, initiative one. And uh, so 
Like, he's got a 4-2, uh, two, 2 attack, 2 defense, 2 hold, 2 shield. Uh, so Leia got popped on the first round, just so you know. Uh, though, so now she's with 1 charge at the moment. Alright, to face this rebel list, you've got soon to fail. So, light soon to fail. Uh, at the start of the engagement phase, uh, bullseye equals focus for free. He's got predator and for each action that he performs, he can perform another one, which is a barrel or boost, and this is treated as red, of course. Darth Vader, the Dark Lord. I mean, no, the Black Leader, the Dark Lord would be the Defender. Um, so basically spending force to allow some more actions uh, after uh, performing an action. Fire control system, and after burners, and then Echo, Echo uh, that will decloak using the two bank templates, allows her to have some more flexibility during the system phase and some more uh, outmaneuvering tools, let's say. Equipped with passive sensors, that is kind of a way to counter the fact that she does not have target lock on her action bar. And fifth brother, uh, so fifth brother is uh, while you attack you may spend a force to change an eye onto a crit, so basically force a user that is just slightly better than, ju than just uh, using a force. Um, and then again the phantoms can after decloaking, perform an evade action, and at the start of the end phase, they remove the, the evade and transform it into a, a cloak. So this is it for the lists for tonight. So pretty interesting game, I hope. I'm not a huge fan of the um, the aces, but this kind of list with a phantom. I must say is really good to really good to see. That's one way to start. Three hits without even using <coughs> without even using the the target lock, so that's pretty much gained uh for the next turns. But anyway, Jen is evading the shot. So yeah, so basically already some kind of an advantage for Echo as she has now basically a free target lock on Jan. Alright, so yeah, I was saying that um, I really like those Phantoms 3, da uh, three ships lists. Uh, you've got the two, those two Initiative 6 that are uh, really known, like Suntir, the guy that, <laughs> that dies at range 3 behind clouds. Vader, the guy, the guy that just like roll four, four hits at range one, and then you've got the uh, the echo. So some before it was Duchess. Oh no, not Duchess. Like what? The, what's her name? What's her name? Whisper. Before it was Whisper. Now it's Echo. I mean, why not? Echo is slightly better if you want to outmaneuver um, enemy ships. But she's got one less initiative, which is always uh, relevant in uh, those games. So let us notice that even though Wouter has a better bid and chose Pierre as the first player, uh, there is a reason why. This is because Pierre has also an initiative 6, which is Wedge, always menacing for those aces, as you basically basically take away their defense dice and you can also um, with crack shot and etc put some damage really fast and really hard uh, on ships like I, I mean you, you can just like one shot soon tier or uh, you can like half Vader real quick kinda kinda strong you have to play that well for this to happen, and this is what Pierre does for sure. 
So Leia is on 2, so next turn Leia will be available again. So we will see, maybe Suntir is going left to try and um, faint some things. Vader will probably... I mean, is he going straight? Will he be going... I mean, if if you one hard with Suntir, one bank with Vader, and put Echo in a position where she's really flanking uh, the, the the whole formation, that is looking quite good, I believe. I believe you can't decloak to bank uh, to the left with the bank on the on the rear of the ship, maybe, I mean, you, you could like maybe choose the the um, the position where it does not put you on the rock, but I believe that's not a great choice if you want to avoid the gas cloud. Maybe not looking that great, so... I wonder what will be the decloak here. Are you going right with the bank being on the um, on the front of the ship, maybe, and like do a one bank or two bank at the most, just to get some distance if Wedge decides to too hard to the left or maybe three hard. We shall see. Uh, okay, so did D cloak by the front, with a two bank to the right, to can evade I believe, yeah the evade is just behind the wings of the ship, but no worries, the evade is here. Uh, both the Z95 and Cassian are going bank, and going uh, on the right of the gas cloud, echo one hard, so, gets in a very good position, so now she has Force, Focus, Evade, and she has a lock on Jen. Jen that did a one bank, you pretty much can't do anything about this. Uh, rotating the arc to the left, are you taking a Focus as well? Or just moving the arc. Is the stress really mattering? As you can just like clear it quite easily in this position. I believe this is maybe what he is thinking about. Alright, no. Decided not to take the stress. And Wedge did a Three, yeah, three hard to the left. Close the wings before that. So, okay. So he is going to target lock. Right? So he's behind the cloud, so basically he's... Not in a bad position for Vader and Suntir. Oh, but Vader did go fast. So if Vader takes a lock, he will know if the Z95 sees... Oh, right, okay, so... <coughs> After Burner's charge, right away, he is at range 2 of uh, Wedge. Takes a lock on Wedge, and then probably spends a force to get an evade. Let's see what he chooses to do. I mean, in this situation with the cloud, you are maybe not going to do much. But anyway, spending the force is pretty much free. Uh, we saw that the uh, Z95 is in range of Vader, so we might see the little guy take a shot out the Dark Lord. 
Okay, so just a barrel roll for Suntir, giving him space to one heart to the left, then barrel roll and boost next turn, probably. Right, so Wedge cannot see anything. Vader sees Wedge at range 2, but obstructed, so that's... Uh, yeah, forgot to roll the final die, and oh man, this is look... Alright! All three of them, seems like, dice are... Okay, pretty well on both sides, actually. No damage, as the cloud will allow the third evade to come through. Uh, why is he rolling again? What was that? Oh, maybe it was just a mistake. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, Jan is rolling two dice at uh, Echo. Uh, probably not spending anything here. Yep. Really menacing. And Echo gets the single evade that she needed. So the the shot in response will probably be very rude. We shall see three. Uh, right, so you've got the target lock, and you've got three. Wow, those attack dice are really strong for the moment. So John is taking at least one. You can spend to take just one. Uh, no, that's not. There you go. Uh, Jan. Perfect. One shield on Jan. First damage of the whole game. Not the last. <coughs> For sure. Cassian is a bit too far, but the Z95 though. You can see, maybe? Yeah, the dark... What? He chose not to shoot? Why so? Oh, no, he's... Okay, he's trying to see if uh, he's in range of the Z95 to allow him to roll a third attack dice. Oh, yeah. All right. And Vader will have to spend the focus, so no big deal. You do not strip the force economy. So, Whisper gets the cloak token. Vader gets back. Gets the force back. Alright, so... Looking pretty good for the Empire so far. They split up the um, rebel forces. I mean, you cannot, you, you cannot forget that those ships are coming close from each other, because, like, John is probably going straight kind of fast. Wedge can three hard maybe boost or something, and the Z95 plus Cassian are closing in the distance, so it's it's not played yet, but it's looking interesting for the Empire as we speak. Alright. Pretty important turn. The one coming will probably be a deciding turn. Whether it's like doing nothing or doing a lot. But then again, doing nothing would be probably uh, like for Pierre, because, I mean, if you resist the aces, that's looking quite good, as long as it lasts, <laughs> obviously, but, yeah, we'll see. Uh, 56 minutes remaining in this game. Uh, 
Uh, how many turns did we play so far? One, two, three. Okay, this will be the fourth turn, I believe. I like the position of the obstacles. I don't know why, but it looks looks very good, like really really good looking like battle lines or escape routes, etc. It's looking very good. Not sure who is favored with this, but do we still <laughs> do we always need to answer the question? Um so Vader did spend an afterburner's charge last turn. Might be relevant in the future. As you probably want to keep them as long as you can. And Echo is decloaking bank, obviously, to the left. This, this is very good. I mean, this is very close, but it leaves you a bit of a of a of a glimpse on how does player uh, do fly well. Uh, Leia got recharged at the end of the last turn and got popped out this turn. So maybe Jan is stopping. Ah, I wouldn't. Oh, but if Pierre saw that. Jan is in a very, very good position. Uh, Alright. Anyway, um, Echo did a... Uh, two hard? No, it's, uh, it's a one make, actually. Sorry. Um, so, basically, you can do, like, whatever you want. Passive, focus, evade. Uh, barrel roll, if you want. I mean, cloak is not useful in this situation, obviously, but... Alright, passive sensors. Now it's up to Wedge and Jan. Oh no, Jan did try the 2 pink. And Wedge did a 4k, which is now white. Uh, opening the wings do not refer to the card, but to the token or the the, the aspect of the miniature. Alright, Vader did do a 5 straight. Uh, I believe the only way to come out of Wedge's arc is to perform an afterburners to the right. If you're not doing this, I believe you are taking a shot whatever you do. Because you cannot bear roll to the right in this position and yeah, okay, he is going to afterburners, but straight. Alright. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, of course, you can barrel roll after that. Yeah, for sure. Alright. So, second charge of, second charge of afterburners did uh, go down during this round. And soon tier, there you go, one hard, and now you can choose whether you go to the right or to the left. I believe the left is a better choice as far like uh, to the front here. And now you can fit a boost straight with a stress. So Wedge, Wedge can see Echo, and it is an unobstructed shot. Echo just has focus plus force and Jan will allow Wedge to add an attack die by stressing herself. So four dice, double modded shot. Those attack dice are amazingly high. And this is a double blank. She spent the evade to take uh, three. So already half of Echo right now 
What the hell is happening on this game? Um, so now it's Jan. Jan's turn can shoot Vader, but oh no, it's soon tier. It's soon tier, of course. Initiative six can shoot at Cassian or <laughs> gets two crits. <laughs> it's what the hell? And Cassian can just spend to avoid taking both, which will be done right away. Uh, so now this is Jan shooting. Can shoot Vader, range 3, obstructed. Probably not hitting, not doing anything. But then again, try your luck. Uh, you cannot spend anything because you don't have anything. But 5 blank. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, it was not 5 blank, but it was almost that. What is happening? Alright, so Echo engages, takes a target lock with passive sensors and gets a range 2 shot onto Cassian. And she will get 3, 2 plus a crit with 5th brother. And Cassian will be taking 2 of those. 1 and 2. 2 shields down on Cassian. And basically traded 2 shields on Cassian for half of Echo. Now Sundir is on the back. Uh, Echo is kind of flanking. Vader though is not in a very good position. Did try and escape uh, Wedge's arc. And that was really relevant for sure. But I mean you you can you can three talon to the left next turn, but if Wedge is going too hard at you, that's not looking very good. So um So Sundir is stressed. Not that it matters a lot, but it it gives the the the, the dial of the interceptor some some less flexibility. So now it's going straight or too bang too hard. Uh, yeah, I believe this is it. Too bang too hard and and or going straight. I mean, is it? relevant to like f um, four straight and stay in this position uh, because maybe Cassian is turning to the right and you don't want to be facing an, a Ewing arc I mean you can still double reposition so yeah whatever I don't know how to play those ships, to be honest. That's above my knowledge. Way above my knowledge. Seems like we are almost ready on like both sides can't see the whole like let me just all right so we are one ship away for both players which is kind of fun it is uh, Cassian for uh, Pierre and uh, Echo for uh, Wouter so <laughs> it's looking very fun I mean Echo is in a very bad spot because she cannot decloak so basically a free evade is like not happening so to survive if you are in a lot of arcs you may want to take a cloak token but if you do first of all uh, no evade and then you're not shooting which is obviously very bad for a three ship list so Cassian is removing the stress from Jan uh, that's a 
three? Three or five? No, that's three, right? Oh, four, but there. <laughs> four. Okay, four uh, K for the Bandit Squadron. Too hard for Cassian. A crit. Pierre is used to roll crits when he goes over clouds. That's a private joke. But anyway, on gas clouds, that's not... Uh, that's not so... <laughs> uh, so... So punishing, because, like, it's nothing at all. Oh, and Jan is coming hard at Echo. One straight that allows her to be range one behind. And Wedge is going three hard in Vader's direction, hoping that Vader is doing the three talon. And Vader does the three talon, so we will have some duel between Wedge, Antilles, and Darth Vader. Vader cannot do anything as those um, afterburner charges are both inactive. And Suntir is going to bank, boost, evade boost, getting the evade, um, the, in the, well, the focus with. Uh, the engagement, beginning of engagement phase ability. Alright, so this is Wedge Range 1 with Janors. This is 5 dice to Vader, and he is spending the focus for 4. 2 agility gets 2 evades. Those rolls are massive. And Crackshot will destroy the, 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 the second evade, so Vader is halved, that's the second ship halved on Wooter's list, 71 to 0 currently, <gasps> and this is Suntir on who? Jan, I believe, and Jan is taking a hit and a crit, so a shield and a crit. And the crit is, oh no, weapons failure. Weapons failure on Janors. Now this is Vader, onto Wedge, four dice with the target lock and three force, four hits. Okay, this is going, this is getting out of hand. And Wedge is also taking three, two shields and a crit. The crit is weapons failure as well. How many weapons failure in the deck? Only two. <sighs> Got to shuffle the deck better, right? <laughs> Alright, uh, weapons failure as well. So now the scores are pretty even. If you consider this. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, the, the, the both lists are hitting like trucks for now. We have 42 minutes remaining. Jan is rolling only 3 because of the weapons failure. Is spending the focus and Echo is taking another one. She's one away from dying. Focus was spent though. Uh, on... For... Uh, uh, let me just like... Uh, Alright, so this is Cassian range... Blah, 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 look like three. Yep, three. On to Darth Vader, and it's going to be two. It's going to be two as well by spending the force, right. And the Tala, uh, oh man, keep saying the Tala, it's the Bandit. Tala is 
initiative too. Uh, nothing at all, as you don't have a focus because you stressed yourself. Perfect. All right, so this closed the round. A lot of points scored. Uh, so basically, Janors got halved and did get a weapons failure. Wedge got halved and did get the other weapons failure. So there are no other weapons failure um, on the damage deck of Pierre. But on the other hand, Darth Vader took three damage and got halved as well. And Echo took another one and is now even more close to dying. So the score for now is 71 to uh, 59 for France, and we just hit the 40 minutes remaining. Um, that's, that's a brutal game. That is a brutal game for sure. You don't kill fandoms. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, that's not wrong. Alright, so what will be our treatment for next turn? Who will be the target? Who will die? This will for sure be bloody, though. All right. I got a bad feeling about this. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad that you use the, the sound alerts. It's it, it's all new. Came up today. I mean, if if you win your bet, then you can just have more credits to spend on those sound errors, right? So you just have to foresee everything, and you will do just fine. All right, so Cassian is in a bit of a weird position because not quite sure. Yeah, no, I'm not definitely. Not sure the um, the one bank fits behind Wedge. Wedge is weapon failure, so even if I mean Leia could be popped uh, next turn, but this is probably the turn where you are going to 4K or three talent roll. Uh, Jan's stress is irrelevant. I believe because probably, uh, I mean, <coughs> um, Cassian will probably remove this stress as this is the most punishing one at the moment because the, the bandit squadron is kind of safe in his position. Can like clear the stress pretty easily. And I fear that our little MVP is going to face some shots from Echo. But on the meantime, Echo wants to survive and going aggressive against a ship that can roll four dice at range one with Jan's support is not a good idea. So we will see. All right, so this is a this is a big deciding turn, so this is the reason why it's taking a bit longer. Seems like we are ready for Pierre. And uh, yeah, we are going to system phase to bank uh, to the left for Echo takes the evade. Jan stress is removed at the beginning of engagement by Cassian. Just like mentioned. And the Z95 is going to joust Echo if Echo uh, did put herself 
in a position near this one. I mean, maybe, maybe he'll bang. Okay, she, okay, she's stressing herself. All right. So Cassian did bump. So no action for this guy. Um, so now this is. Now this is um, Jan. To bank. So you probably. Uh, yeah, you block the two straight, you block the two bank. You don't block the two hard. But you've got a very good kill box if you block the two hard, though. You will probably be able to go out of it. Uh, one bank for Vader. Can you fit a barrel roll to the right? Not so sure about that. Uh, at this point, Cassian can see you. Wedge can see you as well. Barrel rolling to the left could seem like a good idea, but if you do, you are in bullseyes. In, in, in Cassian bullseyes, so... Not happening. Uh, and Vader will obviously fit the barrel roll to the right and evade everything, plus can spend a force to get a target lock onto Jan and spend another one to get a focus, if he wants to. There you go. So now the question is, do you spend another one for focus or do you just like... Okay, spends another one for a focus. So Vader is... Oh, maybe Wedge can see Vader actually. But this will be very close. Um, soon tier bumps, and this is the this is the the, the moment where <laughs> the the MVP could roll four dice onto soon tier. Anyway, soon tier gets a focus by having a ship on his bullseye at the beginning of engagement. So now this is uh, is they did not even try to see if this is good, but I believe they are certain of it. So this was um, Wedge onto Vader, and this did absolutely nothing. So Suntir can shoot... It, it is range 2 or range 3? Seems like it's range 3. Cassian did bump. So no action, but only one because he knows the Z95 is hunting. Cassian takes another shield. So Leia will be recovered uh, next turn. That is the reason why I just updated the thing, not to forget uh, at the end of the turn. Uh, so this is John. No, maybe not. No, this is... Who is this? Oh no, this is Echo. No, this is Vader. Blah, 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 blah. Vader onto John. Two hits and a crit. And John will have to spend to evade everything. But anyway, you do it without thinking. Jan is very important in the list. Alright, and if you don't do, well, that kills Jan. So, anyway. Alright, so two dice from the turret. Uh, only one, because you have the weapons failure. Very good. <laughs> and doing nothing, as you s just spent the focus. Uh, three on Jan, and you've got a crit with fifth brother, and you've got only a crit. So needs one evade on Jan, and gets it. Just what you need. All right. Cassian is obviously not seeing anything. So Jan did get a stress. The Z95 is getting four dice onto the Ace of Legend. <laughs> and he's doing three crits. What the hell? Uh, Sutier gets two evades though, but there's still a crit, and the crit is disabled power regulator. So this is this could be big. This could be big. This could be really important. 
Alright, so not half, but close to it. Echo on one, Suntir on two, Vader on two, and next turn is definitely looking very good for Pierre as Leia is back. The U Wing can basically just 180 degrees rotate. Um, so, um, okay, so what could Echo do? She may be able to fit a two bank to the right with the bank on the uh, front side and like one bank to the right after that. Um, so maybe this is relevant because like if the U-wing faces, I mean rotates 180 degrees then Echo is out of arc which is always nice. Uh, the Z95 cannot 3k or 4k because Jan is on the way though. Um, Wedge's position is looking quite good. But you've got to pursue Vader and you cannot really do that as you're moving before him. Yeah, this is. This is an interesting turn. Once again. Um, anyway, 71 to 59. The score didn't quite change this round, but uh, damage was given to Suntir. This is a critical damage to disable power regulator. We have less than 30 minutes remaining. So again, we've got both Janors and Wedge with a weapons failure, which is not looking very good. Might want to take this out, but Jan isn't in a position where she can. Wedge is in a better position to to get the this crit out. But you lose a focus. I mean, the next turn might be relevant to do so because you are probably not taking shots and you are not like shooting anyway so might be good or maybe you are seeing the the fact that echo could just go b between the asteroid and the gas cloud and you are committing every single one of your forces onto this particular position rotating Cassian to the right giving Wedge a two straight uh, could be could be a thing could be a thing maybe Echo is just decloaking to the left out the back but like not quite sure about that though it's not like so bad Puts a little bit of distance. Right, so 27 minutes remaining. We are waiting for the Ace of Legends. <laughs> Woody woo! <laughs> All right, so we are waiting a bit longer. Cool. 
common route. How do you pronounce it? Don't want to be misspelling you. Wouter? Alright, so... Oh, this was not the position I was seeing, but then again, it was approximately there. Okay, so cannot evade because he's stressed. Might end up mattering, because now he needs to clear a blue maneuver. So, may so the one bank seems a bit awkward. Maybe two straight? I'm not so sure. Oh ho! Cassian! <laughs> Going the roll, roll, roll. Alright, so focus. Okay, one bank to the left. And gets a cloak as you're not shooting. As Cassian is probably shooting you uh, like through the, the cloud. You've got an evade if you Roll a blank. Oh, ho, 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 right. Hello. So this is going to end, like, by Jan's death or Echo's death. Probably it will be on dice. Uh, she took a focus, so she, she will be rolling three attack dice anyway. Like, it's not that bad. It's not that good. You could be rolling four, but it's not that bad. Okay, so Wedge did repair the weapon's failure. I will keep it... I mean, yeah, what, like, no. We, like, in this particular situation, we know that weapon's failure got, got hit twice, so no need to keep that. That's okay. That is okay. Good. Oh, soon did soon tier, did Vader bump? No, Vader did not bump. Oof, oof. Uh, maybe our little MVP friend is going to take some hot sauce <laughs> here. Uh, okay, Pierre has initiative, so he is the first to engage. So soon tier obviously did take his um, focus. All right. So, got three dice as he repaired the weapon's failure. He's getting a... yeah, well, that's not hitting for sure. Alright, what evade. So Vader... oh, could... Tr yeah, that's, that's a better plan. This... yeah, this is probably the correct choice. And he already has the target lock, so yeah. Jan could die here. Uh, fire control system for this. Yep, he's getting all three by spending a force, I believe. Yep. And uh, yeah, he's got he got a natural crit. Very good roll once again for Jan, evading everything, everything. So soon tier can either shoot wedge un at range three obstructed or range two on Cassian unobstructed. I mean if you shoot Cassian you probably take half. Yep, he's doing it. And there's, there's a big chance you take half. And uh, the amount of crits on this game, I mean it's a bit biased by the fact that you've got Vader, right? But the amount of crits is... Oh, direct hit. And structural, I believe? Yeah. Alright, so took three. One, two, three, and there is a direct hit and a... Structural, structural, there you go. Alright. So now this is Wouter ahead. The Netherlands are taking this. Alright, so initiative 6 are done. Oh, but Echo cannot shoot, so then again, it's not that bad for John. Getting only one, that's not helping. There you go. Like, the Phantoms are just this kind of ship. They're just not dying, which is... like... Uh, 
Uh, gets a fourth die for Cassian. By um, um, stressing um, Jan. And Cassian will do three, so that means at least a crit is going through because of the crack shot. S so this will be two, and soon two dies. If he spends the crack shot, there you go. Crack shot spent, soon tier out. One and two. And the final crit was. Oh no, what did I do? <laughs> uh, d once again, a disabled power regulator. <laughs> he got two disabled power regulator as well. And there are only two in the, the, the damage deck. Oh man. This is. Alright. Um. I don't remember, I mean, what did happen? Okay, so this was the bandit on Vader. This was a three hits onto a three natural evades. I wish I rolled like that. Okay, uh, less than f uh, 20 minutes remaining. This is now 127 to 90 points. Uh, four in favor of the rebels, and this is now two ships on four still. Because John did evade twice in a row Vader's attacks, it's it's basically three hull against the entire ship, um, the entire uh, list of uh, Pierre. The bandit is untouched, but probably irrelevant for the next turn. Wedge will probably go over the cloud, so that, so that means no action. Jan is in real danger, though. And Cassian is... Um, yeah, he's in, a, he's in a good position, decent position, I'd say. Like, you can go t too straight. Either one or two, that's what I meant. Like, you, you don't need to take into account Vader's position as you are lined up perfectly between those two clouds, lined up perfectly to avoid Vader blocking you. So yeah, this is looking quite good for the Rebels as we speak. But you still got to consider what uh, Echo is about to do in system. Okay, decloaking to the front on the right and taking an evade. This time you can because you were not stressed the last turn. Alright. Yeah, 3k from the um, bandit. Took a strain, but anyway Next turn is going to clear everything, probably. Or anyway, is not going to be shot this turn, so... Alright, the U-Wing opens the wings. Goes... Zero, alright. That's, that's the way to do it. Okay, Echo is clearly fleeing the fight. For now. John is doing it too hard. What will you do with this? Do you take a focus? Do you boost to try and put yourself behind the cloud, maybe? Did try and boost to put behind the cloud. Can still go both ways, but looks to be tough battle for Wooda. Yeah, I kinda agree. I kinda agree. I mean, with. 90 seconds delay. <laughs> I kinda agree. Uh, rolling for a strain did not get a strain on to um, a Wedge. Vader is in a very good position, so I believe Jan will leave the party real quick. Yeah, but I believe the uh, taking the focus was not that much of a good choice anyway. So basically, you traded the possibility of taking a shot to the uh, to the fact that you like you're not evading everything. 
that's for sure. Um, so that was Wedge onto Vader. Now this is Vader onto uh, Janors, and oh, that's not looking that good. So yeah, there you go. The hits become the hit becomes a crit. You reroll both, and you can spend to gar guarantee. I mean, not you're not guaranteed of anything, but. I mean, for now she has to roll two evades, naturally. Now she has to roll two, like, this is like a must, <laughs> because if only one... There you go. Jen is out. Courtesy of Vader. There you go. One and two crits. Console fire, stunned pilot. Console fire, stunned pilot. I mean, whatever, stand by, let they go. Alright. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is, once again, very close. 127 against 119. Now this is Cassian shooting at Vader. This is going to do only one. So absolutely no problem, as you will get four by using the cloud. So, no problem. Uh, the little MVP. Not doing such a great attack. 2 on 5 is always hard. Alright, so 8 points difference. A ship on 1, a ship on 2 for the Netherlands. Uh, an initiative one on four, a, sh a ship on two, and a ship on three for Pierre. This is, I mean, Pierre, I, I, like, if I consider things, I would say that Pierre or Wouter, Wouter losing anything would be probably their defeat. Because like the the the, um, the Z ninety the Z ninety five brings a possible blocker, but anyway, it brings the last shot after Wedge and Cassian that is probably able to do s to do something if if the um, the, the modifications are not there anymore. Wedge is probably very important. Cassian, a bit less, but not that much. And um, yeah, I I truly believe that if Pierre loses any of those three ships, I mean, in order of importance, for obviously, if you if you lose Wedge, the game is probably over, like over, over. If you lose Cassian, it's very difficult. If you lose the Z, you might just be kind of fine. But still, I think it's kind of lost. And in in the Empire's position, it's a bit the same thing. If you lose Vader, that's pretty much game. If you lose Echo, that's probably a bit better, because you still got the Initiative 6. But then again, it's not looking good. Echo is continuing to flee. The Z95 clears both stress and strain and takes a f essentially a free target lock onto Vader. Um, Cassian is clearing the stress and taking did it do? Did it take a target lock? Okay, he's taking a target lock on to uh, Vader, obviously. Sorry, got a little bit distracted. Um, Echo is going to <laughs> like try and clean those angles. I take Wedge hunting Echo here. 
Yeah, it might be. It might it might be. I totally agree with this. The wedge is closing the wings. Oh ho ho ho! Three bank, and there you will see the focus boost. Essentially, because the boost, uh, I mean the stress that you get from the focus boost will be, uh, um, like uh, he will lose it, courtesy of um, our friend Cassian. Okay, so Vader is not doing anything this round, but cannot really move. So like, okay, just take a target lock and. Next turn will be better for you, so I believe Wedge is a bit too far, so this will be another turn starting right away. All right, so for now, the score did not change at all. 127 to 119. Eight points difference. Nine minutes remaining. And this is either France going 3-0 or the Netherlands coming back 2-1. All right, so system phase, decloak to the right, maybe trying to face is her destiny. Uh, okay, so goes over the cloud with the bandit. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Deal. How do you hunt Echo? The decloak right and three hard versus decloak front, three bank, four sides at entirely different places. And you, I believe you just, you just called what happened. The decloak right and the three hard just happened. So this is looking very, very good at the moment. And Pierre called it. Ah, oh, this is the reason why I love seeing high, uh, like, it's, it's just um, another, another level. It's just another level. It's, 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 it's the kind of level you cannot reach. Like, it's whether you have or you don't. And, ah, oh, man. Like, they just outmaneuvered themselves twice in the same turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, but only to get this. Okay, so he's got the, the lock he took way earlier. And with three, he did not guarantee, but... Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Echo is fine with this, and now Vader can shoot Wedge for free. Oh. 
just got... Oh no. I believe this might be... Yeah, okay. Well, I believe this is Pierre losing to this. After, like, having a very, very, very good turn, he's, he'll probably lose to this. Yeah, Wedge is taking two. And any crit... And this is a direct, so Wedge dies. Oh man, this is... Like, there is no justice for what has just happened. It's... Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Um, did I up update the thing? Yep, so this is now 127 to 147. You need to kill Echo. You need to kill Echo. The, the, the guy lived for too long. I mean, I know it's a girl, right? But And now she's... Okay. This is ridiculous. I mean, with with all due respect for uh, for Wouter, for Hooter, uh, for the Netherlands, <laughs> he, he he just played really well. That's for sure. But like, got saved so many times, but by, by those dice. Ah. Uh. Um, so I believe we've got one last turn. Feels bad, amazing, cold, but punished for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is really sad. I mean, I I do like the um, the plays from Uther. Like, for sure, he played really, really well. But I got to say, like, just seeing th this last turn... Ah... I would have guessed, like, uh, and, and if you look at it, like, Leia got popped out. That is the reason why she's on zero. Leia got popped out. You got target lock, focus, and you called the thing really well. And, uh, yeah, it's it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad because now Cassian plus the Z95 cannot do it. I mean, th there's still a chance, like, in this situation, you are playing, for sure, because there is a chance. But, like, seeing it, it's, it's, uh, like, uh, well, it's, yeah. All right, so Echo is trying to, I mean, did the cloak to the right and now facing both Pierre's ships. Um, the, the initiative one is still seeing Echo though. Got the free evade. Not so sure what is happening right now. Okay, passive sensors and one bank from Vader. Uh, not 
much positions where to go. Okay, so both locks are on Vader at this point. So basically, if we give ourselves a little math, um, you need 20 points to be ahead. So taking half of Vader, which is 37, I mean the second half of Vader is 37, um, is okay. If Echo halves the Bandit, it's still doable. But like, okay, we just saw that she's taking a lock onto Cassian. And Cassian is on wing closed. Oh, he did forgot did forget to open it. Not so sure. And obviously he's doing an amazing role. So basically, if you spend the force, you kill Cassian. If you kill Cassian, you win the game. Oh no, he's on structural damage. That's the reason why. Um, so yeah, basically spend the force, kill Cassian, and win the game. There is nothing Pierre can do if you kill Cassian. Because you're scoring 30 points, which means you are up now by... 50 points and 50 points is not doable. So GG Wouter won the game here by killing Cassian. That is a damage a panicked pilot and a damaged engine. Nope, oh, not structural. And this is not wedge. Uh panicked panicked and stunned. To be honest, I think going after Vader was the better choice, much easier to see where he's going, and Echo could also have gone straight. Then there is no insane call, and only a range 3 into Vader, into which... Yeah, I understand that as well. But there is, like, always the difference between what we see as a spectator and what people see, uh, I mean, the players see uh, when they're playing. So anyway, by uh, speaking, I just missed that... Uh, the MVP just took Echo out of the board, but as I said, it will not be enough. 159 to 177. GG to Wouter and GG to the Netherlands as they take their first win on this round and they close the score a little bit. He forgot his wings. No, no, no. Um, I Okay, we've got 90 seconds delay, but then again, uh, no uh, structural damage. That's the reason why. All right. GG to both players for this game. This was really cool looking. Really nice. Um, although a bit a bit like disappointing for such an amazing call and such a poor rewards but it's the game it happens gotta live with it um so yeah it will close our session right there once again gg to both players thank you to all of you who have watched uh, this game the previous game both games uh, anyway, we will be back tomorrow for more France against the Netherlands. Bonsoir, je dirais bien, allez l'Empire, mais bon, allez Pierre. <laughs> ah, oui. um, so, more France against the Netherlands tomorrow uh, at, uh, let me, let me calculate, it's 5pm UTC. 5pm UTC. Uh, and I wish you a very good day or night, depends on where you are. Uh, oh, and I've got to give you the bettings, but I believe this is not important as no one bet on Wouter. Oh yeah, they did. All right. So 
I'm not sure how many people bet for Wooter, but these people, these people are getting a lot of credits. So GG to you. <laughs> Alright. Uh, rooting for a 6-1 for France now. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, and yeah, and thank you, and thank you to everyone. Have a, have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Bye.